let the peace, love, and blessing of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. The unknown truth revealed. A short gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of Truth leader Olumba Olumba Obu, the supernatural teacher. Golden text, St. Matthew chapter 11, verse 27. And all things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son, and no man knoweth the Son, knoweth the Son, but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal. Quote, Beloved. Has the above text not revealed what the kingdom entails? The gospel, as put before you, is self-explanatory. Undoubtedly, what has given him the pleasure to deliver this gospel to us today is the immense love of God. This gospel would be a panacea to your entire problems and predicaments. Therefore, from now on, do not regard anybody as the cause of your problems any longer, because your difficulties re result from your refusal to hearken to the words of God. You cannot accomplish any task if the Father does not give you the ability to do so. And so, you can only successfully abide by his words and put them into practice when he gives you the ability. A repeat of history. We are conversant with the details about the mass exodus of the children of Israel from Egypt and the hectic journey they embarked on in order to magnify the word of God. Those who have been to Israel and those who are about to go there can approximately estimate the long distance between Egypt and Canaan. However, the Israelites viewed it as an unavoidable task and accomplished it within a period of 40 years. Oftentimes, you tend to blame the Israelites for not being faithful or not worshipping God. What is the case today that he is found in your midst? Do you accept him or abide by his injunctions? Do you possess love and express it for one another? It should be realized that hatred, backbiting, death, and other evil practices would be no more once you possess love. You would now agree that what happened among the Israelites is exactly what is happening today in your midst. Do you not still expect him to cross land from the sky? even after several years of his manifestation? In the time of the Israelites, the prophecy by the prophets about our Lord Jesus Christ manifested with exactness. John the Baptist, who was Elijah reincarnate, came before our Lord Jesus Christ. Yet the people did not accept him. Let alone abide by his words. Is it not a similar situation with you? What is the difference? It is certain that there would have been peace and stability everywhere if the entire world 
had accepted the love. God, the sum total of existence, clearly stated there is no juju, witchcraft, mermaid, man, and angel, but only God exists. Also, there is no such thing like sin, mistake, and lamentation for the sum total of existence is the handiwork of God. Therefore, do not bother yourself about any occurrence, for everything unfolds according to the divine directives of God. On this account, it is stated that no one knows the Father save the Son, and no one knows the Son save the Father, and to whomsoever the Son may reveal him. This confirms the fact that the Father God is the sole doer of everything. As it is often said, only the king knows the secret of his kingdom. Brethren, it is unnecessary to force anybody to serve God, for he has manifested to serve himself and establish his rulership. Let all your sufferings be attributed to him and do not give the glory meant for God to anybody. Rejoice for he has come to reign with you till eternity. Spiritual Chorus If the Lord does not give approval, no strand of air would fall off his children's heads. God the cause and effect. God does his things as it pleases him. So, do not attribute any happening to ghost, to mermaid or juju. The Bible clearly states, to whom much is given, much is expected. From henceforth, believe that every occurrence receives it's due approval from God. Spiritual quarrel. Do not laugh at anybody who is besieged by misfortune. Do not mock anybody when misfortune befalls him. Do not condemn anybody. Be humble. For God has come not to depart anymore, but to rule with us eternally. Therefore, always reflect God in your works, in your services and in your plans. Allow God to direct and control your activities so that it may be well with you. Furthermore, you should be satisfied that he has come for us and is richly found in us. Finally, sincerely believe that God is the cause and the effect of everything. The establishment of brotherhood. Who would have believed that brotherhood of the cross and star would survive till date since its physical establishment on earth and especially between the year 1966 to 68 the period when Nigeria was in complete confusion. But God in his infinite mercy 
having viewed the situation, decided to reconstruct Nigeria by bringing brotherhood into existence. Therefore, be humble. Give up your thoughts about yourself and allow God to take proper control of you. For there is no hope or advantage in all the carnal things. Believe only in God. For he is the absolute hope for all. Do not hate. Do not persecute or begrudge anybody or exhibit any destructive act against anybody. No other thing apart from brotherly love is required because that is what I have come with to give to you. Beloved, a stroke of the cane is sufficient for the wise. Let he who has ears to hear, hear what the Holy Spirit has imparted to the entire world. May God bless his holy words. Amen. End of quote. Peace in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Thank you, Father.